start with contracting sprites. Chapter 286, Returning to Dragon Nation, Harvest Appraisal The sprite running in the sky while dragging the seven-colored light band was a rainbow deer. It was another form different from the thundering deer pathway. Of course, the rainbow deer that could fill half the sky with the seven-colored light ribbons was definitely at crown level. It should have completed the fourth and fifth stages of evolution. It was too far away. Even with sprite commandeering, vision sharing, Su Hao couldn't see the details. Needless to say, there weren't many sprites around in the interface map after all, dumb unicorn had already lured the heavenly king of super ugliness out of the main battlefield. With the appearance of the two crown sprites, the battle immediately calmed down a lot. From Ghost City, many sprites flew out, or rushed out, and were divided into two distinct camps along with their sprite trainers. They faced each other in the sky above Ghost City. On one side, led by the Jade Bone Dragon, were several monarch rank gargoyle dragons. On the other side, with the Rainbow Deer as the leader, there were a variety of sprites, with even more monarch ranks. Trading Puppet, Fiery Bird, Sky Dragon, and so on. At the same time, a series of signal bullets flew into the sky and exploded, forming different symbols. It was, a signal for them to retreat. At this point, Dumb Unicorn was still taking a detour. Butterfly and Dazed Crow had already been summoned back by Su Hao. Su Hao watched from afar for a while. I'll leave the battle to the big bosses. Stone Elephant Nation, at the island where the entrance was located. At this point, Sprite trainers wearing the uniform of the Union's command department were everywhere. There were Asian, white, and black people. These Sprite trainers had come from all over the world. But they all were clearly part of the Union. The battle department of the Union was the department in charge of battle against the other alien tribe. Theoretically, the Whale Gate battle area also belonged to the battle department of the Union. But in reality, it was Dragon Nation and Whale Island University that were in control. And a small nation like the Stone Elephant Nation was unable to deal with the alien tribe, so the Union's command department took full control. The exploration of Ghost City had also ended. Su so Hao stayed on the island for the time being and let Bright Night Spirit treat the injured sprites. Unfortunately, the amount of milk they had right now was too low. At a glance, their bodies were all empty. I wonder how many people didn't return. He searched everywhere, but the island right now was in a mess. From time to time, transport planes would send sprite trainers and soldiers over, and he only saw a few familiar faces. On the second day, he saw Senior Wu returning from the Ghost City area. In the tent. Senior Wu gulped down a bottle of water. His hair was still neat, but his eyes were a little tired. Seeing this, Su Hao still suppressed his desire to ask about the situation. He said goodbye to Senior Wu and was about to leave the tent. You want to ask about the battle situation, right? Just ask, there's no need to be so polite with your senior. Senior Wu opened another bottle of water and poured it directly on his face. After washing his face, he summoned a third line water element sprite and shook off the moisture. Then, he used the comb he carried with him to comb his hair and straighten his collar. Then, he said, the battle situation is all right. Thanks to the value placed on Ghost City by the Union, there are already many heavenly kings present, so they managed to withstand the gargoyle tribe's sudden attack. But in the end, we didn't expect an alien tribe to suddenly appear. Unfortunately, some of our sprite trainers had to sacrifice. Two sprite trainers and eight sprites from Dragon Nation died in battle. Who, who were the sprite trainers? One is a sprite trainer from the Turtle Breath River in the north, and the other is, a student who graduated from Dragon City University two years ago. None of them were people he knew. Su so Hao felt relieved. Although this feeling wasn't very respectful to the dead. Perhaps it was because he had experienced a lot. Senior Wu didn't have a sad look on his face. He patted his shoulder and said, I heard that you've made great contributions this time. Hey! You lured away a tribe's heavenly king, and many people saw it. 
When I first found out, I was almost scared to death. If anything happens to you, I'm afraid I'll be beaten to death by my teacher. I think you're just afraid of being slapped, senior. Despite his complaints, Su Hao's heart still warmed. Then, he heard Senior Wu say, knowing that you can run so well, I don't have anything to worry about in the future. He then heard Senior Wu talk about the situation in Ghost City and the experts sent by the Union here. When he heard that two crown level experts had come, Su Hao thought for a moment and asked, Senior, even if the Gargoyle tribe is one of the stronger alien tribes, we still have an advantage, right? Before leaving, he saw that the reinforcements from the Union seemed stronger than the army of the Gargoyle tribe. But, they were still fighting, even now. You want to ask, why don't we just end it quickly? Senior Wu paused and said, with the power of the Union, destroying three to five tribes is naturally not difficult. With just the Sprite trainers from our Dragon Nation, we're able to do it, but... Right now, the various alien tribes aren't harmonious, and there are even wars between them. But if we destroy one or two tribes, we might be able to weaken the enemy by a little, but it may cause the various tribes to unite and that could be a real danger. Therefore, the strategic general direction of the Union is to take it at a steady pace, to build high walls, accumulate strength, and slowly eliminate the enemy. The speed at which we nurture sprites and nurture Heavenly King level sprite trainers is faster than the alien tribes. So there's no need to immediately go off to war with the alien tribes. Pretending to be weak and accumulating strength is the smart thing to do right now. Of course, we can't launch a full-on attack, but killing one or two of their Heavenly Kings isn't a big problem. The problem was that they weren't so easy to kill. After hearing the news from Senior Wu, Su Hao felt much more relieved. Currently, the Ghost City battle area was still in a standoff as small-scale battles played out. But it had nothing to do with them anymore. Even if the Dragon Nation wanted to explore more of the Ghost City in the future, they would only send out real elites or big bosses. The Sprite Trainers explorers from the various countries also left one after another. On the third day after returning from Ghost City, Su Hao also prepared to return. A strong wind blew on the wings of the large transport plane. Su Hao, who only had a medium-sized backpack hanging on the slope of the cabin door, looked back at the busy base and stepped into the cabin. Butterfly was still the size of a palm. It laid on top of his head listlessly. The dumb crow with sparse feathers followed behind. Big fat bear, dumb unicorn, and the bright night spirit followed after Su Hao called out. Yama Ghost King was already hiding in Su Hao's shadow. Occasionally, a pair of eyes would appear in his shadow. When he looked a second time, it would disappear as if it had been an illusion. Buzz buzz. The transport plane set off. Its destination was neither Whale Island University nor Tianese Province, but Dragon City. The first batch of explorers like them needed to take inventory, evaluate, and organize their gains. Originally, they should have done it directly on the island at the entrance, but the island had gradually been transformed into a military base. So they were simply brought back to Dragon Nation. Half a day later. Dragon City, headquarters of the Association of Sprite Trainers. Dozens of Sprite Trainers who had returned from overseas travel worn arrived in a special car in an area filled with grand buildings. This was the headquarters of the Association of Sprite Trainers in Dragon Nation. On the surface, this was the organization with the highest martial strength in Dragon Nation. Big bosses gathered here. If Su Hao threw down a brick it would definitely hit someone. Of course, only ordinary staff members would be hit by a falling brick. At this moment, there were already several specialists waiting in a building in the headquarters specially responsible for item evaluation. Even though the exploration had ended halfway, their group had more or less obtained some items. There were precious materials that could be recognized at a glance, but most of them were materials that had never been heard of or seen before, or finished products. Some of them might be able to let Dragon Nation's sprite cultivation level take a big step forward. Beep. The transport trucks stopped one after another. 
An old specialist couldn't wait to go forward and look at those especially big backpacks. They should be full of treasures. He couldn't wait to snatch it over. Hurry, hurry up. Chapter 287, Sorry, High-Level Sprite Cultivators Can Really Do Whatever They Want This was the first time Su Hao had come to the headquarters of the Association of Sprite Trainers. Unfortunately, the tour didn't go on. They were brought to the building in front of them, which was responsible for appraising items. What entered his eyes were a few old specialists, dozens of staff members, and a dazzling array of instruments and equipment. Even someone as knowledgeable as Su Hao could only recognize a small part of it. For example, a device that could detect the amount of energy contained in precious materials. Only those that contained energy could be called precious materials. Those without energy were called inferior materials. The precious materials obtained from the New World needed to be handled carefully as poor harvesting methods and storage methods could result in the loss of energy of the precious materials. Needless to say, the ones obtained from the Ghost City ruins had to be treated with even more care. Su so Hao saw that the materials taken out by many people had already become useless. Everything recorded in the precious materials booklet, put them in test one. Remember to paste your name on it. The unrecognized materials are placed in the waiting area. As for the other items, well. Come, put them in front of me. An old specialist's eyes lit up. Another old specialist tugged at his beard and glared. Bullsh asterisk T, leave it here, in front of me. I'm a professional. Who isn't a professional? I've been in the industry for many years and have the most experience. I'll go first. My professionalism is the highest. No matter what weird item you take out, I won't laugh. Mine is higher. No, mine. Stop fighting, stop fighting. The five old specialists argued for a while. They decided to stop categorizing items. They each chose one and opened their bags for inspection. The value of the items obtained would then depend on luck. They chose large backpacks first. Senior Wu's backpack was very big. It was a classic case of a larger backpack. It was stuffed full, and there were even three of them hanging around the trading puppet. This omnipotent psychic power indeed had made Su Hao very envious. But that was no longer the case. Su Hao glanced at his shadow and remained quietly. An old specialist with grey hair commanded a few staff members to open Senior Wu's backpack and take out items from it. Oh, this is. It contains shadow energy. Ghost element spiritual jades have always been very rare. A ghost element secondary attribute heart, put it at checkpoint 1. Yin soil, high quality. Energy lost a little, slightly. Synthetic medicine. Little Chen. Bring it to the fifth floor for testing. The old specialists were focused and excited as they appraised each item. Of course, the sprite trainers in the building were unwilling to leave before the overall value was evaluated, but they were also bored. They couldn't understand the nouns that the old specialist was saying, and could only judge from the expressions of the specialists. Oh, the items in this bag are very valuable. That backpack was brought by Xiao Ji, right? As expected of the most outstanding sprite trainer under the age of 30 from the sprite trainer Xiao family. That young man from the sprite trainer Bai family also had a lot of good gains. I remember he's called, called Bai Xiaoming. I heard that he's very good at investigation, collection, and analysis. Look, the few black rocks he picked up were actually evaluated as high value items by the specialists. Why did we have to pick up low-value items and be laughed at? Our gains are considered good already. Here, look at those guys. The whole backpack is dry. I reckon it's because the battle broke out too suddenly and they didn't even have time to bring back anything. We've made pretty good money. You're right, you're right. Su so Hao, who was carrying an ordinary backpack, didn't look eye-catching among the crowd. Apart from those sprite trainers who had seen him charge through the nine stages bravely, or one or two who had seen him riding a horse and luring a four-armed gargoyle dragon, 
they looked over from time to time, wondering why he only had a small backpack. But no one bothered to ask him anything. Of course, Su Hao also wouldn't tell them that everything was hidden under A Yan's robe. It was obviously a thousand times better at storing items than at storing life forms. It didn't need to keep spitting them out before swallowing them back in again. It was just that Ayan had been hiding in Su Hao's shadow for a long time. Was he being shy and unwilling to come out? Su Hao shook his head, and dismissed the thought. How could a domineering male sprite like Yama Ghost King be shy? It was all his misunderstanding. He continued to straighten his ears and listen to the specialist's analysis and evaluation of various treasures, while conveniently taking some intelligence points from those unfamiliar items as he listened. It was very pleasant. Yama Ghost King's full set of cultivation, talent ability cultivation, advanced unique skills learning, secret heritage concept. All of that combined would probably cost at least 150 to 180 intelligence points. After all, he knew less about ghost element sprites, so the discount was also less. But for a trip to Ghost City, even if he had only explored for less than 10 hours, the intelligence points he gained were still more than what he needed to nurture Ayan. When the Yama Ghost King was born, Su Hao had already gotten dozens of points. It was probably taken from Ayan to be used on Ayan. He wasn't in a hurry, but there were only about 30 people after all. When specialists appraised things, they also gave priority to evaluating their value. Before long, it was his turn. Su Hao put down his backpack. The staff member wearing gloves quickly took out the things inside one by one. Most of the items inside were rewards from passing the stages as well as some smaller items he had picked up when he was looting Ghost City in the beginning. The overall value wasn't low, especially the sheepskin scroll and medicine. In front of him, someone also took out similar items. The goatskin scroll mostly recorded the cultivation methods of ghost element sprites. The old specialist quickly figured out the approximate value of the two items and the official acquisition rate of Dragon Nation. We will purchase it from you according to 60% of the evaluated value. In addition, you have the right to know the research relating to the related items. 60% wasn't low. The cross-border tax was already more than 40%. The items fetched pretty good prices anyway. Among them, the sprite trainer could decide if they wanted to sell the more common materials. If they didn't, they just had to pay a tax. Things like sheepskin scrolls and potions with scientific research value were out of the question. They had to be sold to the officials and couldn't be taken away by the sprite trainers. Just now, there were sprite trainers who wanted to take away the potions, but they weren't allowed to. Su so Hao knew the rules and still said, I want to keep one bottle of this medicine. Before the old specialist could speak, the young assistant in his early thirties beside him frowned. Do you even understand? Giving the potion to a sprite to use is a waste. Only research can bring out its value, bringing out ten to a hundred times its value. This is also a rule of Dragon Nation. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Yes, I want to use it for research. What does a sprite trainer like you know about research? Uh. The plain and ugly young man's gaze moved down and landed on the table, on a card. It was a card that he had always dreamed of but had never been able to obtain. High-level Sprite Cultivator Credentials The profile picture on it was very similar to the young Sprite trainer in front of him, he was also very handsome. Then, the plain and ugly young man raised his head a little stiffly and saw a smile on the other party's handsome face. He lowered his head again, then raised it again. After repeatedly comparing, he finally had to believe that this person in front of him, who was at least a few years younger than him, was a high-level sprite cultivator. According to the rules of the Dragon Nation, research items had to be submitted, but there was another rule, and that was, high-level sprite cultivators could choose to keep a portion of the special items and conduct research themselves. That's right, high-level sprite cultivators had special privileges. Who could have thought that Su Hao was actually a high-level sprite cultivator? 
The plain and ugly young man forcefully held up a smile and was on the verge of tears. The old specialist was also very surprised. He repeatedly asked if he wanted to learn cooking from him. Cough, learn research from him. Su Hao was already experienced in the art of declining politely. At this moment, he saw the ugly young man preparing to wave and shout next dot so he turned around and pulled a yan out of the shadow. He made a gesture. Wait a moment, I still have some things I haven't taken out. Chapter 288, The Title Is Gone when the old specialist saw the dignified Yama Ghost King with a fluttering robe and a crown on its head, his eyes widened. He had thought that there was nothing left to appraise and was already prepared to take the items back for research. He leaned forward, unable to contain the surprise on his face. The plain and ugly young man's thoughts were still stuck at figuring out when Su Hao was going to take the aforementioned things out. He was stuck at this first level of thought while the old specialist was focused on the second level. This is a ghost element sprite I've never seen before. And it doesn't look ordinary at all. Eh, uh, isn't that sprite? Sprite trainers nearby looked over, not just one or two. Lan Qing also looked over. She was probably curious despite her expressionless eyes. Su so Hao could already guess that there must be an additional message sent to his wristband chat box. Why do you have an additional sprite? And it looks exactly like that stone sculpture. Curious baby. JPG. The old specialist was puzzled. Clearly, it was because a knowledgeable and experienced specialist like himself was unable to identify a sprite that even ordinary sprite trainers could recognize. Ridiculous. What kind of sprite is it? Old gang, we don't know either but we've seen similar sculptures under Ghost City. Yes, that's right. I contracted it in Ghost City, Su Hao said. But that's not important. Ayan, pour out everything. That's very important. Just as Geng Lao was about to shout, he saw that the extraordinary-looking sprite actually shook out, a pile of items. Some were stored in storage light balls, while others were ordinary. In an instant, the long table in front of the old specialist for appraising items was filled to the brim. Old Geng, who wanted to yell out, but didn't manage to, had his breath stuck in his throat. His eyes widened even more. The other old specialists immediately left the items they were evaluating and rushed forward one by one with agility that didn't match their age. Space? Shadow? Come, come, let this old man take a look. Yama Ghost King drifted back, raised its palm, and then let it down. With a flash, its figure turned into invisible black smoke, integrating into Su Hao's shadow at once and disappeared. Immediately, old specialists in their sixties or seventies cast their burning gazes at Su Hao. It won't be possible for them to let Su Hao research all this himself. They needed to research too. Su Hao coughed dryly. Sir. Let's finish our work first. The old specialists recovered from their shock. It was only when they turned their heads that they realized that apart from the sprite, there were also quite a lot of treasures on the table. They were of a type that they had never seen before. Instantly, their gaze intensified again. And at this moment, the plain and ugly young man and the crowd of sprite trainers were still stuck in the shock of the first level of thought and wondered where he had found so many treasures. What the f asterisk ck? Su Hao, no, Ayan, who was in the shadow, finally let out a sigh of relief when it saw the old specialists shifting their attention away from Ayan and returning to their seats to continue appraising the items. It wasn't easy for Su Hao either. Su Hao had expected Yama Ghost King to attract attention. The old specialists were research specialists after all. Although they had not seen the same details Su Hao saw in the interface, their eyesight and experience were enough for them to recognize the specialness of Yama Ghost King. But Su Hao still didn't avoid calling a Yan out. Firstly, when he escaped from the four-armed gargoyle dragon, the Yama Ghost King had already been seen. It had even used its ability to transport people and had also used shadow traversal several times. There were many people who saw it so it wasn't smart to intentionally hide it. Secondly, 
Su Hao didn't have anything to fear. Su Hao was the strongest student at Whale Island University, the young owner of a personal laboratory, the discoverer of several evolution forms, the double champion of the high school league as well as the high school Sprite Cultivator Cup. He also had a crown level teacher, a few heavenly king level seniors, and he was even buddies, cough, acquaintances with a few sprite cultivators. He was a rising star and had a promising future. It was reasonable and wasn't weird at all for him to have one, two, three, four, or even five special sprites. Besides, the specialists are very likely to judge the Yama Ghost King to be awesome but they definitely wouldn't expect the Yama Ghost King to actually be more awesome than awesome. With just Ghost Sprite Commandeering and Gan Kun in the shadow alone, Su Hao could already develop countless tactics. Even if Ayan was targeted by the Hunter organization, Su Hao still wouldn't be afraid. He was no longer weak like he had been in the past. Besides, as long as he was able to improve fast enough, the enemy's intelligence gathering will never catch up. While he was thinking, he also leaned closer and continued to listen to the expert's evaluation and appraisal. There were many things inside that he wasn't too sure about either after all, with little knowledge, the data given by the interface was limited some archaeological items were also very valuable, but they wouldn't appear on the interface map. By now, the remaining items of the other sprite trainers had already been evaluated quickly. The specialists now had the time to scrutinize the items in front of Su Hao, with a magnifying glass in their left hand and the detector in their right hand. What serious focus! This is, Geng Lao looked at the few broken stone slabs. The simple detector didn't scan any residual energy from them, but its rich experience and sharp intuition told him that, this thing wasn't simple. Where did these stone slabs come from? When Old Geng asked about the stone slab, Su Hao remembered, the information recorded on the stone slab back then. He didn't tell them everything about the Sprite Summoning Continent, Self-Preservation, Project Ghostly Yan, and so on. He only mentioned that the stone slab had a special symbol recorded. It's best not to give out detailed information in front of so many people. And I also don't know if the information is true or false. He thought and pointed at the few old specialists. In fact, he was only able to get back half of the black stone that gave birth to the Yama Ghost King. Ayan was only willing to spit it out after he counseled it for a long time. Speaking of which, when contracting Ayan, the soul power consumed wasn't that much. Maybe it was because the contract had taken form before it was really born. This question could only be explored in the future. The few old specialists touched the broken black stones, stone platforms, and stone slabs repeatedly, their faces full of regret. Why is it broken? I knew it, we should have gone to the site ourselves. If we had, we'd probably have ended up dead and buried by now. Half an hour later, the approximate value of the item was evaluated. To describe it in one word, it was high. It was very valuable. Not only that, during the battle, Su Hao had also lured away a tribe heavenly king and made a huge contribution. According to Senior Wu, there would be rewards from Dragon Nation waiting for him tomorrow. Mr. Su Hao, who had gotten rich again, was calm and unperturbed in his heart. He only took away a few finished products and prepared to return to the laboratory to study them. Who knows, he might be able to come up with special products. Even though his jade powder set meal hadn't been listed on the market yet. But that didn't matter. Research was an attitude. After the evaluation was done, as expected, the old specialists asked for information about Yama Ghost King again. Su Hao only hid a little key information. He told them everything else that he knew. He would also be glad if it helped them with their research. Before leaving, old gang pulled him back. Young man, come to my research institute when you have time. It's not that I want your Yama Ghost King, I just want to help you develop it. As Old Geng spoke, he handed over a silver-edged name card. Su Hao took it with both hands and glanced at it. Old Geng was in charge of a large-scale laboratory, but that wasn't important. 
What was important was that Old Geng's laboratory was in collaboration with a ghost element dojo. That dojo was one of the only two places in Dragon Nation where people know the most about ghost element sprites. If I have the chance, I really should go. With Elder Geng's recommendation, I should be able to learn some core skills from that ghost element dojo. At most, I will probably just have to get Ayan to sell out. Cough, how can contributing your body for science be called selling out? He thought. After the evaluation was done, Su Hao and the other sprite trainers were arranged to stay in the reception area of the headquarters. After washing up, Su Hao dragged his tired mind and laid on the bed. When he woke up, it was already morning. Chapter 289 Su Hao Sprite Ranking Competition The headquarters of the Association of Sprite Trainers had the most comprehensive training facilities in the whole of Dragon Nation. During the five days that Su Hao stayed here, the sprites also had a lot of fun. Take the Unique Skill Unique Skill Tester for instance, which was able to withstand a full-powered attack from Big Fat Bear without emitting any smoke. Slashing on it also felt especially textured, it could be used to sharpen dazed crow's blade and feathers. The battle venue here was also top-notch, and all facilities could be used for free. Su so Hao used this opportunity to let Ayan try out a battle to test its specific level. The target of the battle was dazed crow. Before the round had even started, Ayan had already started to attack, sending out energy balls one after another as though they didn't cost anything. The speed at which its unique skill is used is very fast. I'll give it a B+. After all, it hasn't even started training yet. It's able to control energy balls at the same time and make it fly out in different trajectories. I'll give an A for control ability. Even after blasting out 12 energy balls, 7 ghost claws, and cold wind that lasted for 30 seconds, the spiritual force consumption is still only less than half. I'll give a B and for its spiritual force storage. It was a pretty good evaluation among those of the same level. It could probably take on the young master cattail of a certain school's reserve team from a while back. However, Ayan's opponent at this moment was the fire crow. Dazed crow didn't move. It just extended the flaming feather saber and waved it forward. With a whoosh, all the energy balls and ghost claws exploded one after another turning into black smoke and dissipating. The sinister cold shadow wind couldn't sway the dumb crow under the flaming feather form either. With the position it was standing at as the center, the dumb crow flame feather blade waved, forming an absolute defense domain with a radius of two meters. Two meters away, the energy of the explosion dyed the field grayish black. Everything within two meters remained normal, only slightly red under the light of the fire. The only unique skill that Ayan had mastered at the moment that could hit the dazed crow was Eye of Nightmare. However, its attainments in illusion were insufficient, so it could only make the dazed crow shake its head in frustration. I don't need any more illusions as I have Butterfly. Ayan doesn't need to develop towards the illusion aspect, but... Su so Hao suddenly thought of a battle tactic he had come up with in the past. Butterfly would pull the enemy into an illusion while Yama Ghost King would enter the illusion at the same time. They would attack from both inside and outside and give the enemy the most comfortable experience. Based on the characteristics of ghost element sprites and unique skills that they could learn, this tactic wasn't difficult to achieve. But he had a bolder idea. Su so Hao had already come up with Ayan's own tactical system. Ghost Parade it needed to use both its Ghost Sprite Commandeering and Gan Kun in the Shadow Special Talents. The core of the battle tactic depended on using teamwork against a single sprite. But it needs to overcome several difficulties. Firstly, the current control of Ghost Sprite Commandeering on Ghost Element Sprites is too limited. It might be able to handle small fries, but Su Hao could never depend on them to win hard battles. Secondly, Ayan doesn't have any ghost brothers around here right now. When Su Hao was in Ghost City, he wanted to catch a few and bring them back, but he didn't have the chance. If only he could form a ghost team and debut them together. Thirdly, if Su Hao wanted to overcome the quality issue with quantity, 
he also needed a corresponding joint attack unique skill. While Su Hao was deep in thought, the dazed crow had already begun to counterattack. Under the flaming feather form, it suddenly spread its wings and flew, arriving in front of Ayan in an instant. It waved its dazzling flaming feather saber down. The scorching red line spread on the ground. Ayan had already escaped, but with Dazed Crow's sharp battle intuition and rich battle experience. Ayan only lasted a minute before it was ultimately defeated. The dazzling red flaming feather saber stopped in front of Yama Ghost King. Ayan seemed a little depressed. Su Hao patted its, robe. Don't be discouraged. If it weren't for the limited space, you could have at least, escape. Ayan. It quickly hid in the shadows. With nothing better to do, Su Hao called the other sprites over for an internal battle. Apart from Bright Knight Spirit who had yet to evolve and could only give encouragement from the side, Ayan was, beaten up by all the other sprites. It couldn't be helped. Ayan had too few unique skills at the moment. Profound meanings and secret techniques were all non-existent. It was equivalent to a high-tech computer with no software installed. Its development level was also only barely at the extraordinary level. Among the other sprites, it was temporarily in fifth place. Don't be disheartened. As long as you train hard, you'll be able to get better. Ayan shrank into his shadow and wallowed in self-pity. Su Hao took a look and felt that this child was a little lacking in confidence. Didn't it know that it was only eight and a half days old? What's the rush? When there's a chance in the future, I'll get you some good experience bags to level up. After comforting Yama Ghost King, Su Hao got the other sprites to keep fighting. Lightning flashed, red light dazzled, and waterfalls were raised. The power of the unique skill of the dumb unicorn was slightly inferior, and it was countered by Big Fat Bear, so it could only be beaten by the bear. But Big Fat Bear's attacks kept missing the dazed crow due to the latter's sharp battle instincts, and the defensive armor it was so proud of also couldn't stand the dazed crow's countless flame blade slashes. So the bear is weaker than the crow. On the other hand, Dumb Unicorn had no problem suppressing the dazed crow. Its large area attacks, dozens of meter high waves and elemental advantage gave it an upper hand against the crow. Bear, crow, and unicorn formed a closed loop. But the three of them were all no match for butterfly. The difference was obvious. Up till now, butterfly mental strength has been increasing every day for a few months. It has been a long time since it had used its full strength in battle. Well, butterfly doesn't really need to rely on battles to improve itself. Gurgle. It had a look of disdain on its face, as if it was saying, in that case, why did you call me here so early in the morning, gurgle. It hugged its cell phone and leaped onto the soft seat. It leaned forward and laid on the transformation bead, looking dispirited. Su Hao wanted to say something, but the dispirited butterfly was still ahead of everyone else in the team. Moreover, its other traits were also developing completely. Su Hao was, at a loss of words. At this moment, the wristband vibrated. He glanced at the information and headed for the target location. The NPC who was responsible for providing the mission reward was an official from the guild headquarters. It was a sprite trainer Su Hao didn't recognize. After a series of calculations and deducting from the few items you took away, you will receive 2,603 contribution points in total. This contribution point was similar to Whale Island University's credits system but its value was higher. The official continued, you've passed the application to exchange your contribution points for a top-level treasure, the essence of the sun. You can still consider whether you want to spend 20,000 contribution points to redeem it. As the sprite trainer spoke, he opened a suitcase. Instantly, a red light shone out, and a magnificent crystal quietly hung in the suitcase, inside a storage ball. As expected, Dragon Nation already had the storage ball technology. Su Hao started to think. He observed the sun essence with his eyes and also searched through the data on the interface. When he submitted the application, he deliberately mentioned high quality. 
the one in front of him was indeed of a higher quality than the two he had seen before. It could allow the dazed crow to advance perfectly. It was just so damn expensive. But there was no other way. No matter how high the price was, it was already pretty good to have a channel to exchange for top-grade materials. I'll take it. After going through the process, Su Hao finally got all the gains from his trip to Ghost City. Sun Essence X1, research items such as finished potions X5, Ghost City style Ghost Cultivation Method X3 and 6003 Dragon Nation Contribution Points. Apart from these, the NPC official said, in light of your recent performance, the guild has also decided to award you with a Medal of Honor. Chapter 290, Legacy, Supernova Cup What was the Medal of Honor? Was it edible? As if seeing through his doubts, the NPC official smiled and said, Mr. Su Hao, don't underestimate the Medal of Honor. This is a symbol of battle results. It's only awarded to those who have made outstanding contributions on the battlefield. On the trip, you risked your life to lure away a Heavenly King-level enemy. You contributed greatly and it was also a difficult task. The higher UPS discussed it for a long time before deciding to give it to you. Contributed greatly. Thinking about it carefully, Su so Hao might have only indirectly saved a few or a dozen master-level sprite trainers by luring Heavenly King Unique away. There weren't many of them, but they were all elites from various countries. Some were in their early twenties and had potential to reach the Heavenly King level in the future. In a sense, he had saved five Heavenly Kings in total. In the long term, perhaps one day in the future, these five Heavenly Kings would make a difference against evil forces. Then, wouldn't that mean Su Hao had, saved the whole world? Thinking about it this way, Su Hao had, in fact, contributed greatly. That's right, but could luring away a heavenly king of super ugliness really be considered a difficult task? No, no, the heavenly king of super ugliness was probably one of the weaker heavenly kings and had an earth element gargoyle dragon. If it had been a wind element, thunder element, or wind element, Su Hao probably wouldn't have been able to escape on the dumb unicorn. Su Hao pondered. He repeated the four-word mantra passive, steady, safe, protected, several times in his heart. Then, he heard the middle-aged official in front of him continue, apart from being a symbol of honor, medals also represent identity and possess some power. For example, he paused and said, What do you know about sex? Su so Hao answered what the middle-aged official wanted to hear, indicating that he only knew a little. In terms of comprehensive aspects, sex are inferior to sprite universities, but in just one aspect, even prestigious schools may not be comparable to sections. For example, the famous elemental sects in our nation include Flame Sect, Extreme Ice Sect, and so on. Every sect has its own unique cultivation and nurturing methods. Non-core disciples such as yourself can probably only learn a bit of superficial knowledge at the dojos of the sects but if you had the Medal of Honor, even if you don't end up learning the secret techniques of the sex, you would at least be able to one or two sets of core secret manuals. How is it? Isn't the Medal of Honor very precious? Yes, that's right. You're right. Thank you so much. When the middle-aged official heard this, a chrysanthemum-like smile appeared on his face. After leaving, Su so Hao carefully examined the medal in his hand. The workmanship was exquisite, and some special materials had even seeped into it. Under the sunlight, circles of seven colored lights spread. That was an anti-counterfeit logbook. This medal came just in time. Su so Hao had always wanted to go to different places to learn new things. As for the difficulty in learning core techniques, that was just a matter of whether he had enough money. He just needed to pay but it's very comforting to know that I wouldn't have to pay much. He thought for a moment and said, Well, I have to wait and see just how valuable this Medal of Honor really is, I'll pay more when I need to. As Su Hao was leaving, he bumped into Senior Wu. Senior Wu raised his eyebrows and asked, Medal of Honor? Yes. Not bad, not bad. 
Senior Wu patted his shoulder. I only have three. Su Hao was rendered speechless. Senior, you're showing off, right? By the way, Senior Wu suddenly said, the Yama Ghost King that you contracted, do you know how you're going to go about cultivating it? Kinda. Yama Ghost King is a very special sprite. The cultivation method may be different from traditional ghost element sprites. You have to pay attention. Also, those scrolls obtained from Ghost City are currently being analyzed. There may be information hidden inside that is helpful to Yama Ghost King. If there's a chance, you should find out more, since now you're able to. What Senior Wu didn't mention was that although special sprites had high potential, the cultivation difficulty was high. If they couldn't find the right cultivation method, it might cause the sprites to improve slowly. There were such cases in history. In comparison, the accumulation of information gathered by countless sprite trainers for common sprites made cultivation and advancement easier. Specialness didn't equate to power. Senior Wu felt that his junior was a little too enthusiastic about rare sprites. Well. That doesn't sound right. Heavenly King Wu suddenly remembered that Butterfly Fairy, Bright Night Spirit, and that horse were all accidental products. But they were all cultivated very perfectly nonetheless. It was even more perfect than sprites with complete guides. He felt that he shouldn't worry anymore. Not only would he worry for nothing, he would also lose his hair. It wasn't worth it. After pondering for a long time, Senior Wu pretended to be deep in thought and said, Do you know about the inheritance? Senior, you mean the inheritance in Ghost City? Yes, Ghost City definitely had a complete inheritance in the past. And heritage, to put it more simply, inheritance can be understood as empowerment. It can directly increase a sprite's strength. When we were going through the stages in Ghost City, the light beams that enveloped the sprites were similar to inheritance, but that wasn't real inheritance. And in the spirit summoning world, the union controls a real land of inheritance. Su so Hao noticed something. Is the new world also called the spirit summoning world in the other ruins? Senior Wu nodded. Su so Hao was speechless. As expected, when he didn't understand it in the past, it was referred to as New World. Now that his intelligence level had increased, Senior Wu had also changed the term to Spirit Summoning World, it was all a lie. That's not important. Senior Wu smiled embarrassedly. Don't you want to know where that land of inheritance is? Let me tell you, that is indeed the most important ruin in the Union's hands. He changed the topic and asked. Have you heard of the Supernova Cup? Su Hao thought about it. He seemed to have heard a little about it. It was a competition that wasn't very famous. The Supernova Cup is a world-class competition for sprite trainers under the age of 30. Why at this age? Because the land of inheritance can only be entered under the age of 30. The purpose of the Supernova Cup is to select suitable inheritors. Which made sense why it wasn't famous. In fact, it was impossible to know the specific information about the Supernova Cup unless one reached a certain level. The participation qualification for the Supernova Cup now requires master level. The preliminary round is about five months from now. Although you aren't even 20 yet and your overall strength is also slightly lacking, you still have time. If you work harder, you might be able to enter. You can go and understand the details yourself. Senior Wu waved and left gracefully. It wasn't easy for him to think of a way to set a difficult goal for this junior. That day, Su Hao found specific information about the Supernova Cup on the Union's intranet with his level 9 access. Young geniuses from all over the world were fighting for very limited spots. He couldn't find out what the inheritance was specifically. He only knew that no matter what type or style of sprites they were, as long as they could step into the land of inheritance, they would be able to gain something. And it wasn't dangerous. Many sprite trainers in the Union also got their sprite commandeering from that land of inheritance. Su so Hao was just an ordinary university student, so of course he was interested. Alright, 
I'll set a small goal and try to get the qualification to enter the Dragon Nation's local competition first.